I have written a New Year's Eve poem from me to you. I hope you enjoy. Goodbye, 2020. You really did suck ass. Like that one relative every family has and hates. The one with the really bad gas. From Kobe through COVID to politics, closed, canceled, finished. People stayed indoors. Their spirits diminished. Virtual learning, work from home, soon became a thing. Rolling out of bed, working in our underwear, felt very freeing. Masks and gloves and PPE, we're told, will not fail. Although it honestly felt for a hot minute like we were all living in The Handmaid's Tale. Halloween came and went, no tricks or treats. I bet if kids get to go next or even pennies will be sweet. Thanksgiving for some was a turkey sub and a Lions-Texans football game. Lions lost 41-25. Some things never change. Christmas, too, was spent on Zoom. Santa's lap, we could not sit. Everything about 2020 had seemingly turned to shit. Salons and gyms closed, and people cried foul. You know what? Suck it up, shave your head, run around your living room, okay? And don't forget your towel. No theaters, no restaurants, no hanging out in bars. The new way of doing things? Netflix on our phones and drinking in our cars. So here's to 2021. Let's welcome the new year. Full of hope, happiness, and good cheer. Let's be kinder. Let's be human. And let's stop being douchey. Let's go to Wegmans and get some sushi. <laughs> it's the only thing that rhymed. <sighs> let's love and accept who we are and embrace ourselves fully. Let's not take crap from anyone, especially bullies. Happy New Year, my family, my friends, and strangers alike. I hope this year is good to you all. Here's to 2021. Let's have a ball. Happy New Year.